Hello guys, this is Medicos Library video for you. Topic is Reflex Esophagitis. Let's begin. Reflex Esophagitis is a complication of gastroesophageal reflex disease, which is a incompetence of lower esophageal sphincter. It is a extensive inflammation of lower esophagus due to reflex of gastric acid from stomach to lower end of esophagus. Types of reflex esophagitis. There are two types, acute and chronic. Acute is, is the following of alcohol, burn and stress. Chronic is associated with hiatus hernia or following esophagus digenostomy. Let's see the etiopathogenesis. Acid reflex in the lower esophagus produce diffuse inflammation with multiple ulcers which are called esophagitis. This multiple ulcers due to the vagal hyperactivity leads to production of severe longitudinal muscle spasm which causes the displacement of esophagus from the thorax thus causing the increasing in the ref acid reflexes this viscous cycle continues now we will see the clinical features the clinical features are retrosternal pain burning in the nature and become worse in the laying position sitting position may give relief the patient is confused with angina pectoris but the pain is relieved on taking antacids acute bed in stroke stools and streak of blood in the vomitus anemia and weakness are uncommon future dysphagia dysphagia in this disease is two types transistate dis difficulty the spasm due to inflammation of the lower end of the esophagus or late dysphagia is due to stenosis or stincher of the esophagus now we will see the investigations the investigations are barium swallow in trendenberg position which is head down position can be demonstrated the reverse flow of barium in the lower end of esophagus from the stomach esophagoscopy red angry looking mucosa in the lower end of esophagus treatment the treatment is a avoid spicy food smoking and alcohol small frequent meals antacids h2 receptor antagonist proton pump inhibitors if hiatus hernia is present it should be treated complications are barrett esophagus it is a condition in this columnar epithelium is present from more than 3 cm above the cardioesophageal junction it occur in the late stages of reflex esophagitis and is due to metaplasia stincher of lower end of esophagus barrett esophagus can be turns into adenosarcoma of the esophagus i hope this video helps you please like share subscribe